accountinguniversity.com. Quick bookkeeping and accounting education. So the basic accounting formula is assets equals liabilities plus equity. Now that in itself is a little bit difficult to understand. However, if you break it down in numbers and examples, it might be a little bit easier. For example, think of assets as a house you're going to purchase, and that house is going to cost $500,000. Now, the bank agreed to lend you in a mortgage $400,000, which is going to be the liability. Now, what would the down payment be? The down payment would be $100,000, which will be your equity. So in order to purchase a $500,000 house, you must put $100,000 in down payment and get a loan or a liability of $400,000. And another way to see it is the value of the house, which is $500,000, your asset, minus the mortgage you have on it for $400,000 equals your equity in the property, which in this case will be equals to the down payment, which will be $100,000. Now, in the future, your house may increase in value and your mortgage may decrease in value as you pay it off and the equity formula would be different. But in accounting, typically, we look at the numbers in a snapshot as of the specific original transaction date. That's why we're going to use these numbers. So if we look at a balance sheet inside QuickBooks Online, we notice how these are organized in this very same way. Total assets in the top, then total liabilities, you don't see a negative sign on the liability side, but it is implied that the liability is going to be deducted from the assets. Then as you look in the bottom, you're going to see your total equity, which is the 100000 So this is called a balance sheet. And that's why it's important to know and understand where the assets, liabilities, and equity falls into place when reading a balance sheet. Now, there's something also called a trial balance which is sort of a balance sheet and a profit and loss. And we'll talk about that in another lesson altogether. All combined and all the accounts and all the values are organized in debits and credits format. So you're going to see the debits on the left side and the credits on the right side, and they'll always be balancing. This is the principle behind double entry accounting system, where every transaction and all the transactions put together are going to, at the end, add up to assets minus liabilities equals equity or assets equals liabilities plus equity. They both give you the same result. Let's look at a real world example. I have a QuickBooks Online file open here and we are looking at a balance sheet. So we're going to see a total assets. If I scroll down to total assets, you will notice that the total assets add up to 523,436.29. Now, that sum is comprised of total bank accounts for $2,001, total accounts receivable, which is our open invoices, total inventory asset and undeposited funds, which are other types of assets, total building and truck at original cost, and that sum of everything adds up to 523,436.29. These are my total assets. Now, if I scroll down and I look at my liabilities, you see 1602 for my accounts payable, which is the bills that we still owe. Total balance on our credit card account. We're gonna have some liabilities here to some government entities or maybe a, a bank that we owe the $4,000 to. Then we have a mortgage that we owe and some additional notes payable that we owe maybe to a third party. So all the liabilities by themselves add up to 431, 131.33. Then we have some activity over in the equity side. We have some owner's distributions, which is when the owner of the business takes money out of the business for their own personal benefits or takes a dividend. Then we have the owner's capital, which is the original monies that the owners of the business put in to get the business started. And then we have the net income, which might be a positive number if you have profitability or a negative number if you have losses. So the sum of all the equity owner's capital minus the distributions plus the profit or loss of the business is the total equity and the mathematical value of the total liabilities plus the equity is the same thing as total assets, which is why you're going to see a balance sheet organized in this fashion. 
Now in QuickBooks Online, I can actually collapse these accounts and just have them on a real high level view here where you see the total assets matching the liabilities plus equity. So this is sort of the logic behind understanding the mathematical formula and how you arrive to those numbers and why these numbers always have to match up together. Now let's break down that formula even further to provide some insights into the world of debits and credits or double entry accounting systems. Check out the other lesson that we have dedicated to exclusively debits and credits and the whole concept of left and right when it comes to doing journal entries. Now, assets equals liabilities plus equity. Let's break down equity into individual components. So what exactly is equity? Well, equity actually has two definitions. Equity is the mathematical difference between my assets, all that I own, minus my liabilities, all that I owe. However, it's not just a mathematical difference. There's also specific transactions that arrive to that equity number. For example, the way we get equity is first we add up all the owner's contributions, which is all the capital the owners put into the business, minus or subtract owner's distributions, which is the owners taking back their capital or maybe taking a distribution or a dividend from their profits, and then plus or minus the net income. If your business is profitable and your net income is positive, it would be a plus. If your net income is negative, it would be a minus. Now let's break down net income even further. What exactly is net income? Well, these are gonna be my revenue or my sales minus my expenses. So if we break down this formula into those individual components, the new formula is assets equals liabilities plus owner's capital minus owner's distributions plus revenues minus expenses. With some basic arithmetic, we can actually move all the negative signs that are on the right side into the left side and convert it to a plus. So if we were to move the owner's distributions and the expenses, which are sitting there as negative on the right side of this formula and move them up to the left side, the new formula would be assets plus owner's distributions plus expenses equals liabilities plus owner's contributions. So now think of this formula as the cheat sheet behind what is a debit account and what is a credit account. So what this means is the accounts you see on the left side, the assets, the owner's distributions, and the expenses, they're known as debit accounts because they have a natural debit balance. In accounting, a debit balance is typically a positive number or a number that goes on the left side. Now the accounts you see on the right side, they're credit accounts. So liabilities and owner's contributions are typically negative numbers or numbers that go on the right side of a trial balance. Now this whole concept of positive and negative really is to arrive to the net worth of the business or the net equity of the business. The net equity of the business is always gonna be comprised of the total value of your assets minus the amount that the company owes to third parties such as liabilities and the amounts that the company owes to the owners, which are the capital that's sitting there on the contribution accounts. Once you mathematically take all the liability away from the assets, you get what's called net assets. And net assets are really the net worth or the accounting net worth of the business, which is why it's so important to understand these concepts, both for debit and credit journal entries, and also for understanding both the balance sheet and the trial balance. So if you like this video, please add some comments below. Let us know what kind of lessons you'd like to see next. So make sure you subscribe as well and hit the notification bell so you get notifications as soon as the next lesson comes out. We're coming out with one to two lessons per week. So make sure to subscribe, share the video and add some comments and I hope you learn accounting. Accountinguniversity.com. Quick bookkeeping and accounting education.